So this video has to go insanely fast. It's currently 5 12 in the morning. My sleep deprived self has been searching the internet and saw this video that was getting recommended that was trying to one up me. It was making an anime aesthetic banner in under 3 minutes. So, in order to one up him, we're going to do it in under 2 minutes. So, this video is going to be very fast, and right when I start, I'm going to put a 2 minute timer up top. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's another tutorial. You know what I mean? Hit that like button if you did enjoy this to see more. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to Google and type in the anime character you want. Make sure you put a PNG and find a transparent background. Otherwise, click color and click transparent under tools. Once you save the image, we're going to drag this image onto the layer. Next thing we're going to do is make sure you hit check mark and then we're going to, depending on your character, we're going to shift and drag up on the corner to a bust up image. It depends on what you're using. For me, I enjoy having this, this size. So once you find the image size that you want for your anime character, we're going to right click on the layer and click Rasterize Layer. Next thing we're going to do is click Control J three times. In the top layer, we're going to click on the eye and turn it off. Then what we're going to do is click Bloody Options and press R. Press the little R button right here, uncheck it, press OK. Next thing we're going to do is turn the thing layer back on, click Blending Options, then we're going to click Color Overlay. Then we're going to find a layer that we want and make sure to click on Overlay. I used pink in this image. Then we're going to lower the opacity down on this image and we're also going to move it just a slight bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this layer that we clicked the R on and we're going to shift it. We're going to move it again, a little dramatic amount. And so that add a cool effect onto the image. Next thing we're going to want to do is make a make a little box over the eyes because that's depressing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to tilt this image just a little bit. And we're also going to click on it and right click and press distort. Dis distort. This will, this will, you could change up the shape a little bit and make it look sick. The rectangle, we're going to click Control J, we're going to right click and click Blending Options again. We're also we're going to click the R again and we're going to move it just a slight bit to add this little effect up top. Next thing you want to do is Google English to Japanese and type in something depressing like fake love. We're going to copy this and we're going to click on your text and we're going to paste this image in here. I'm going to make this white, the color white of the text. And we're going to size this down and line it up onto the image of the over the eyes. After that, we're going to control J onto the layer again, click blending options, and we're going to click color overlay. And what we're going to do is click it back to normal, and then we're going to click on, on the red under it, and make sure you drag this back under the top, the white layer, and we're going to move this just a little bit and lower down the opacity. Control J that again, and click blending options. Click color overlay again, but change it to the blue. What we're going to do is we're going to drag it a little bit up top and add the effect customly. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to press the rectangle and we're going to go to the bottom of all these layers and line up as best as you can. Um, background to make it even. Make sure it's behind the image. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another text layer. Make sure it's on top of the rectangle but under everything else. Paste in the fake love or whatever you use for your Japanese text. And enlarge this image and put it behind the character. Make sure it doesn't go up past the box. Then we're going to do the same exact thing we did for the main text. So control J at three times. Click on the first bit image. Click button options. Click color overlay. If you already have it to save the blue, then just move the blue a little bit. And make sure you lower down the opacity on this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do it again on the other layer above it. But we're going to click it for the red now. So we're going to click the red on the blend options and the color overlay, and we're going to move the red to a little bit down. And make sure you lower the opacity as well on this one. Next thing we're going to do is press shift and make sure all the way down to even to the background layer. Click on the fuller button, click control J and click control E. Then we're going to click on this rectangle two up top here and we're going to move, we're going to do it and make sure you press shift while you're adding these so you can add more than one once. If you don't, other, it won't let you add more than one. Then we're going to click on this movement tool, move these clips over a little bit. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this one more time, but we're gonna do it in the opposite direction. Then we're gonna move it into the opposite direction. After you do the little glitch effect, we're gonna click on filter and we're gonna click on filter gallery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to texture, click grain, and adjust the intensity and press OK. This will add a little cool, edgy effect to it. After that, we're gonna click on the circle, click on curves, and we're gonna we're gonna turn down the the image little quality of the colors. After you do this, you just save it out by doing file. File, export as, save for web, make sure it's on PNG24, and press save to get the best quality. There we go. You have your aesthetic anime header for all you edgy weebs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave that like down below if you want another tutorial like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for all the support lately, and peace out.